She was missing for more than a week, and many across the state feared the worst. Well, tonight, Carly Trent is home safe. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson joins us. And Jesse, the TBI says this case could have ended differently if not for the Amber Alert. Well, Rory, Carly was rescued after she was taken by her uncle Gary Simpson and kept in a secluded area for eight days. During that time, the TBI received more than 1,800 tips, the majority of which were about this van, Gary, van, Gary Simpson's van. An official says that they may still be looking for Carly today, if not for the help of the public. You're charged with one count of especially aggravated kidnapping and one count of custodial interference. As Gary Simpson sat in court today, he showed little emotion and even some confusion. You understand the charges? I don't understand the kidnapping. Okay, all right. A lot of times people come into court and act confused as to why they're there. Um, very, very rarely do they come in and say, you're right, you got me, I did it. Margie Quinn with the TBI talked with Nick Barris on Morning Line today about Amber Alerts in Tennessee, specifically the Carly Trent case, where she was abducted by her uncle. The things he did before suggested uh, a fairly sophisticated planning of this abduction. From the beginning, the TBI says this abduction was alarming because Gary Simpson had very little to gain. The 58-year-old already lived in the same home as Carly Trent, leading family of Simpson to say that they believed he was up to no good. And when you hear that from a family, obviously that's very, very concerning. But all of the things that we learn in the totality really led us to be extremely concerned. One of the most concerning facts of the case was the item Simpson bought for his niece. Bikinis. Um, uh, swimsuits, um, lipstick, nail polish, press-on nails. According to the TBI, the majority of abductions are done for sexual purposes. At this time, the TBI has not confirmed nor denied whether Carly Trent was sexually assaulted by her uncle, and they're still searching for answers of why Simpson took Carly in the first place. And today, they're just happy she's home safe. But when I walked into, into the, the office at large and said, we have her, I mean, there were tears literally tears mm -hmm. um, from these intel analysts who've been working this case. Now, TBI says this investigation is still very active and a lot more information has to be uncovered. As for Gary Simpson, his preliminary hearing is set for one week from today.